Hello, this is David Coyle, and welcome to the first of our new video series, Analyzing Public Datasets, an Introduction to Galaxy. In this series of videos, we're going to assume that you have a computer, an internet connection, and that you're interested in analyzing publicly available sequence results from next generation sequencing, such as 454 or Illumina. What we're going to do here is we're going to learn how to find publicly available data sets, we're going to learn how to use some public analysis tools, and we're going to combine these to perform a variety of real data analyses. Just a quick note, our previous videos on using the terminal used sequence runs were already aligned to a cDNA database, and if you do your sequencing in-house, this is the form that your data would be in. However, if you're going to start from publicly available data, most of that is found as raw sequence. And so the first thing that we're going to do is learn how to align a raw sequence to an appropriate database. The primary tool that we're going to use is a tool called Galaxy. Galaxy is sort of a one-stop shop for sequence analysis tools. This is a website where you upload your sequence and then there you can perform any number of modifications and manipulations and analyses. And then you can send those results to others, you can publish, this, publish them as such, etc. Let's go ahead and enter the site. And here's the Galaxy website. Alright, well let's take a little tour. Over here on the right is the history. This is where it'll show the sequences that you've uploaded and any manipulations that you've performed in the order that you've performed them. Over here on the left is the list of tools that Galaxy has available, starting with Get Data, and including things like filtering, statistics, multiple regression analysis, etc. And if we click on one of these, like Join, Subtract, and Group, you can see that under this heading there are a variety of specific tools. What we're interested in is here at the top, Get Data. Let's go ahead and click on that. And you see here a list of servers from which you can transfer data directly to Galaxy. Also at the top, there's Upload File from Your Computer. Let's click on that. And you can see that a new panel appears in the middle. The middle of the Galaxy screen is where the tool that you're actually working with is shown. So there are two ways to upload files to Galaxy, and we're going to go through both of them. The first is to use the Browse option and directly upload a file from your computer. The second is to use this box down here and to put in the HTTP or FTP URL and transfer the file directly to Galaxy. However, we don't have any data, so that's going to be the focus of the next video, getting data. Until then, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.